Hi everyone, welcome to Puffs Kitchen. I hope you are having an amazing time. First of all, thank you so much to all my subscribers. If you are new to my channel and like my recipes, please subscribe to Puffs Kitchen to get new recipes and updates. And don't forget to click that bell icon too. Now, let me tell you about the dish I am going to cook. I am cooking minced meat and tofu with a blend of lovely Chinese and Nepalese spices. I'll make a spicy meat sauce then cook the tofu in it. You can call it Mapo Tofu or spicy minced meat and tofu curry. Let's see the ingredients and start cooking. Are you ready? Now I'm going to show you some ingredients. Main ones, tofu and minced meat as you know. This is broad bean chili paste. I bought it from a Chinese store. Comes in this kind of jar. I always keep it in the freeze after opening it. If you don't have it, use one big ripe tomato, finely chopped or blended sauce for the umami flavor. This is a homemade aromatic chili oil and timur, citron pepper. The rest of the spices and fresh ingredients, I will be pointing it out while I'm cooking. You can also find its details in the description below this video. And you can easily adjust the spices according to your taste. Next, I'm going to chop an onion in small cubes. Minced garlic. Ginger fresh chilies and spring onion now it's time to cut tofu cut it up gently into one inch cubes As you can see the cubes look like this. Now I am going to gently transfer to it into a strainer. In a large bowl I am putting in boiling hot water. Now tofu. Just put it like this. Make sure the tofu has covered by the water. Like this I am going to soak it for around 10 minutes or until we need it. If you do so the tofu does not break easily while we are cooking. While the tofu is soaking I will cook the minced meat for better taste. For this I already heated up and put in 2 to 3 tablespoon of oil that could be any oil you like. After the oil gets slightly hot add in minced meat. Mix evenly breaking the fibers. Keep the heat on a medium low. It is easy to separate the mince this way. After the mince look like this with the sweat, increase up the heat to medium. Add in turmeric, salt, black pepper. Combine them very well and cook it until all the sweat dries away from it. And mince looks fluffy. It takes about 8 to 10 minutes. After we see like this, I transfer all to a plate. Next, again, heat a pan, add in oil and after the oil gets slightly hot, add in minced garlic, ginger, chilies and the chitron pepper. Cook a minute while stirring. Keep heat on medium. After a minute, add in onion, stir it and cook it for 3 minutes. When the onion looks slightly soft, add in turmeric, black pepper, cumin powder, broad bean chili paste, chili oil and salt. Combine them very well and cook them about a minute. The heat should be on medium high. Now it's time to add in the cooked minced meat. Combine it well for about a minute. Next, put in hot water, mix it well. If you are putting in cold water, then wait to boil. After it boils, lid on and let it simmer for 15 minutes. While it is simmering, I am going to remove the tofu from the water. 
At the same time, I put normal water into cone starch. Mix evenly like this and set aside. Now 15 minutes passed. It's time to check the mince meat. The meat looks good. Mix lightly. We can see the sauce has been reduced. Now I am adding in liquid corny starch that I just made. Mix again. It helps to thicken the sauce and makes it creamy. Before adding the tofu, I am going to add in the chopped spring onion. Mix. Then the tofu. Be gentle while mixing it. Lead on. I'm letting it to cook for 5 minutes. It's already soaked in hot water so not necessary to cook more time. If you are using fresh tofu then cook for 10 minutes. After 5 minutes of cooking the dish is ready. The tofu looks succulent in creamy sauce. Now I am going to season with a bit of sesame oil and garam masala. This is optional but it does add richness to it. So if you have it, I really recommend to use them. Now combine it gently and very well. Turn off the heat then wait about 10 minutes before serving. Then it's ready. I am transferring it into a serving bowl. Before serving, I like to sprinkle chopped spring onion, roasted sesame seeds and chili oil to make it look good. And it does, right? It's very tempting. So here we have this delicious dish ready. You can enjoy it with your preferable carbs like rice, noodles, roti etc i hope you try it out again thank you so much for watching if you like it please do not forget to subscribe like and click that bell icon if you have anything that related to food then leave me a comment in the comment box below this video see you next time adios ciao ciao